Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers and today I'm going to show you how yet to make another type of um, claws or talons um, specifically for our Tawny Owl which um, is the Makers box uh, for January 2023. Of course all of our tutorials for especially for bird legs you can apply to other um, creatures other birds as well but these the, the distinct thing about these is that they have got some really sharp claws where the wire um, I, in fact it's so tightly um, wrapped around the uh, the tree trunk that it's really holding on properly and um, and and these are sort of claws or feet that are most suitable for maybe birds that tuck most of their feet away, which is what the tawny owl does. Um, you often just see the, the sort of the little toes sticking out um, um, just underneath the feet. Right, so I'm going to go launch straight into it. What you need for this is um, in, in our maker's box, which is the January one, you get um, the two long 50 centimeter steel wires, which um, um, they are quite sturdy and thick and uh, as I say you have in, in, in effect a whole meter of wire there. You also have three pipe cleaners, now you only need two in theory but sometimes they can break when you um, uh, manhandle them a lot so there are three in the box and then you just need um, a good um, chunk of the um, the wool that's in, in the Tony Owl um, box as well which is the um, luxury organic core. Now this is way more than what you need so uh, don't worry you're not going to even need half of this but I just thought I'd show it to you in larger quantities. You also need a set of pliers definitely I would say and um, at this point you don't need any felting needles you're not felting this down um, or at least you try not to anyway but um, let's uh, see um, what you're going to do. So first of all because you have the two wires that make actually the whole of the um, for the whole of the owl, you need to cut one in half. So you need to cut twenty five centimeters of one of these wires, which I'm doing here with, and um, twenty five centimeters you're going to put to one side. So you only need seventy five centimeters to make um, the um, the feet. So the, the 25 centimeters that you've got here already, you're going to cut that into two 12 and a half centimeter lengths. Basically, you're gonna cut this in half. So I'm just going to measure this here on my mat. Um, that's about half. I'm gonna cut this into half. So now you've got two 12 and a half centimeter one, and each of these will be used for the legs, not the toes. So this will be the leg going into the owl, but not the toes. And then you've got the second wire, which is also 50 centimeters long, and you cut two 17 and a half centimeter lengths. So 17 and a half centimeter, measuring this here as well. So that is one. And then I'm actually using that as my template to cut a second one. Like this. So now I have got two seven and seventeen and a half centimeters, and I have two at twelve and a half centimeters, and um, the fifteen centimeter length left over um, will not be required. So this is an um, is my waist here. So in effect, you only need sixty centimeters of wire if you're using one continuous length just to make the claws. Of course, because it's for the Tony Owl, we also use the twenty-five centimeter cutoff at the beginning um, because the the head of the Tony Owl is fully posable and uh, can rotate. So. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut each of these longer 17 and a half centimeters into half. So that makes it um, 8.75. Um, and this will be one of these lengths is one is two toes. So we have four toes here and then you repeat this on the other one. And then you've got another two toes here. So if I put them together now, this each of these wires now make one foot. Okay, so you have one longer one for the for the leg, and then you've got two two, two shorter ones. Each of these make two toes, and so I'm only going to use one because I'm going to start with one. So to to make the first leg, 
take the 12 and a half um, centimeter and the two eight and point uh, seven five centimeters and um, and you're going to um, you're obviously going to put this one away the, um, the the leg part because we're making the toes first pipe cleaners now so you're going to prepare these legs by uh, wrapping um, the the, the, the length of the pipe cleaner around this whole length but you need to leave about one centimeter exposed because this is going to be the sharp claw at the end of the of the toe so um, tuck away the end of the pipe cleaner so start maybe um, with the pipe cleaner facing the opposite way that you actually want to um, um, well the, the way that you want to go and just wrap the pipe cleaner around it. This does not need to be a dense cover. This is literally just so that you've got a, um, a base there to um, wrap wool around it later on. And then uh, same here. So cut your pipe cleaner short. It's probably the first time I'm using pliers to cut pipe cleaners. Cut your pipe cleaner short and make sure that the end is tucked out of the way. So that's one set of toes done wrapped with a uh, pipe cleaner. I've got over half of my pipe cleaner still left. So we, um, the the reason why there are three pipe cleaners is because you um, you you might um, break when when they get wrapped really tightly. Sometimes they can break these pipe cleaners, but um, you should be able just to use um, one whole pipe cleaner and have some left over at the end of it, even when you've wrapped two toes with it. Now, when you make the Tony Owl, I know this is not what this tutorial is about, but when you do make the Tony Owl, you will need to use about that length of a pipe cleaner for the beak um, later on as well. So don't chuck your end of pipe cleaners away. Right, two toes in preparation now to uh, go to the next step. And the next step is um, you're going to take the 12, 12 and a half centimeter wire, which is this one here, and bend the end in by about two to three centimeters. So um, you're in effect making a hook at the end, which looks a little bit like this. And um, what you're going to do now is you're going to uh, fit this around the middle of your set of toes. So, so that um, you've got the two, two length of wires which makes four toes trapped inside this um, bit of of, um, of the length to um, sorry I'm not making much sense of so have it literally in the center of these two pipe cleaner wrapped wires that's what I'm trying to say and now you've got to make sure that you really really trap them tightly so pinch this wire shut I need to open my pliers a little bit more these are not the best pliers on the planet, so if you've got uh, better pliers, then I definitely say use good good pliers where you can get a good um, where you can open them up quite a bit. Um, and it is quite essential that you have got that in the middle, so um, make sure they're in the middle. If one of the toes is slightly shorter than the other one, it's not the end of the world, but it would be better if you had same size toes. And then pinch this really shut and then get rid of that end of wire by wrapping it around the um, the leg that goes up. So this is so quite important to make sure that you've got a really tight um, fitting construction here now. So now you've got um, one, two, three, four toes and the leg wire going up. That's um, sort of the next stage here. And what happens next is um, the following. I'm just going to go to the instructions, just bear with me. So obviously you want the leg wire to go up because you need it to go up. So have that pointing upwards. And now you're going to take an extra bit of a uh, pipe cleaner. Um, if you can manage with this, manage with this, but you do have extra pipe cleaner with three um, and, and, and wrap more around this join to stabilize um, the uh, the join that you've just made. So this will now further stabilize. So go weave in and out of the toes and around the ankle, and that will um, stabilize the, um, the 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 frame that you've just made or the structure you've just made. And cut your 
pipe cleaner off. Right. So now I have got, now it's not wobbling about anymore. The wire of the pipe cleaner has definitely secured this. And the next thing you're going to do is you tease off strands of your uh, wool. And um, at the moment, the toes are staying um, uh, straight, but you're going to start wrapping the wool really tight around the end, starting at the end. Notice that I'm leaving about one centimeter at the end uncovered because that is going to be the claw and that can be bent down um, with your with your wire uh, cutters or with your pliers later. So at the moment we're just wrapping the toes in this wool and there's no needle felting. So the wool will grip into the um, pipe cleaner layer that you have um, created here and go and then you can go round the uh, the join um, the join here again to again to further stabilize it um, and to get rid of the wool. And then you're going to repeat this on the other three toes. So always tease off a little bit of wool. It's better to work with smaller quantities. It's easier to get um, the wool to fasten around the toe. And at this point, if 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 some of um, if if your toes are not exactly the same length, I genuinely wouldn't worry about it. Um, we just need to get the wool wrapped around this with about one centimeter of um, bare black wire showing at the end. And remember, you can push this up; it's not fastened to um, the the um, the wire. The pipe cleaner is also movable, um, so you can push the pipe cleaner up if you need to do this. And just get this covered up so that you end up with four wrapped toes. Good. Two more to do. If you do want to use your felting needle, then you can, of course, use it, but there is a lot of wire inside. So I would be extremely cautious when stabbing the needle into it and try and go at a, at a shallow angle. I don't think it matters very much at all if the wool is a little bit uh, loose because the, um, the, the feet of the owl can often look quite sort of feathery as well. So what you're, wrap, what you're using wool for is in fact uh, sort of little feathers that are covering the, um, the feet of the owl. Um, hanging down from the legs. Okay, so going round here and one more wrap. Uh, try and do the toes roughly the same thickness. So I noticed this one has been a bit short changed. There we go. Right, so now I have got four um, toes and I'm also just going to, oh dear, where's it gone now? There. Sorry, I lost my instructions for a minute. And now I'm going to go up the leg a little bit as well. I'm just going to check my instructions. Um, just bear with me. Um, it's actually a really easy way to make these clothes and they're very sturdy. Um, so yeah, okay. Right. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is, um, I'm going to um, wrap a little bit of wool along the leg part here as well because that is what's required as well, just, just in case a little bit of the leg is peeping out. There we go. And now you've got a leg. This is, it doesn't look much like anything, but the next thing, this is, this do, it doesn't say this in the instructions, but you know that you've got two corresponding wires. You can feel it, which ones they are. In fact, it's these two with me. And you, when you bend them down, you can use your fingers initially, bend them down like this, and then bend the other set down. So you use them to a uh, lever against each other. And then you can decide and it definitely works to bend the claws in as well, because if it's to grip around um, a branch that you find in your garden, you need about three centimeter thickness as a minimum. Um, this, this is really holding on to whatever you're putting it on very tightly. It is quite, it's actually quite um, um, hard to get it off and that will give it the stability of, of, the, of the foot. What I will show you, 
um, because I've made sure that these legs are not fastened into my owl. Um, so this is the owl and um, these are the legs that I've made earlier. And um, the, the way to um, fasten them in, in now is by finding a hole, slowly sort of pushing them in. It, because the owl body is very softly needle felted, you will be able to just push them in. And then um, all you're going to do now is you're going to use the same wool that you use to wrap the legs, just a small amount, and um, just got to open that claw up a bit. It's very vicious. This these end wires, wires. They're literally like um, like a sharp, sharp nail. And all you're going to do is fold this over the foot. And now you're going to felt this into the body and um, and along the the um, the leg a little bit as well. Oopsie. So just felt this down, and that will secure the leg into the owl. You can also add a very generous amount of glue inside um, the the channel um, where the leg goes, and um, and that will also help. But usually by just felting it down like this, this should be enough. You might, will have to sort of uh, loosen up a little bit of the feathery look here um, to fit over the foot again, but you can worry about that later if, if need be, add a little bit more of the, um, the wool. It definitely works to use a, a coarse needle. Don't use your best needles because there potentially is a chance that you might break it by going into that part of the foot. And then you're going to add the other foot in. So I know that there is already a channel there because I did it earlier, but you might want to fit both feet first and then wrap the wool over it. So this is something that you do at the very end um, when you have already added the wings and the tail. I Actually, I, I, I think that's the order. Let me just double check before I tell you something completely wrong. For the purpose of the of the uh, tutorial, just to do the legs, it doesn't really matter. But if you're watching this because you've got our, no, the legs go in before the wing um, wings get made and the tail, so which kind of makes sense, I suppose, because you um, then add the finishing touches once the once everything's um, in there. I've just pulled out, put that in a bit further. Um, And felt it, felt it down. It will take a little while. Uh, uh, take the time to felt it in properly because you don't want the legs to fall out, especially when they're gripping around a, um, a branch, and you 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 try to take it off and you actually pull the legs out rather than taking the owl off. Um, so do take your time to do that. But that is basically how you um, make the legs for the owl, and I think that's they're pretty authentic. Um, and ve a very simple make. So uh, probably one of the easiest ones that we've had so far. Just wire, pipe cleaner, and then use wool to felt them into place. And I think that, yeah, that sort of secured them. And now my owl is ready to grip onto its branch again. Um, it de definitely works to close these up a little bit beforehand and then There you go, secured back on its perch um, where we want it to be. There you go. So that's how you make those um, sharp talons from wool and wire. And um, you need your pipe cleaners and you need um, a, a, some, you need your felting needles, coarse felting needles to uh, put the um, felt, the, um, legs into the owl. That's all you need. Hope you like this. Um, do share with us what you are making from these videos. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And um, of course, um, we do our live streams once a week on a Tuesday, if you don't know this already, but you probably do. Um, so join us at 1pm um, 
um, every Tuesday for new tips and tricks, some make-alongs. Sometimes they are just um, unboxing of our subscription boxes. But I hope that um, we'll, we'll see you many, many times in 2023. Thank you and bye-bye.